Okay guys, I'm about to repot my plants. It's kind of warmed up. I think we had our last cold day yesterday. It was 40, 39, 40. So I'm going to pot my tomatoes, peppers, and squash. Okay, first I'm going to repot my rosemary. And I'm not going to put it in a big pot. I'm going to put it in one of these Dollar Tree pots. And it has holes in it, but I'm going to put additional holes on the side so it can drain. I don't know how to get these drain holes off in this pot. Oh, they're fine. So I guess they're okay. I don't care about that. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of just wood stuff in the bottom just to give it a little raise up off the ground and bark because you know, I cracked it so it's going to need a little bit more and I'm going to put a little bit of peat moss in the bottom for water and put my glove on. I'm just going to put that directly at the bottom. And then I'm going to mix me up some soil, party soil, planting soil, and some peat moss. And some, I got some worm, castor worm stuff. Sure. Been watching a lot of videos. So. It said this earthworm casting was good, so I bought some. So I'm still kind of that in here. from Costco. And it's all organic. The peat moss, this plant is so And I'm composting. Can y'all see it? It ain't. No, the peat moss part of it. But I took a big pot and started composting in the pot. So I just took some food scraps and then I covered it up with some dirt and with this pot and soil and watered it real good and then put my squash in it. I might put a tomato in now. And the organic garden dome. The last time. And I'm just going to mix it up. I think I need a little bit more soil. Move this camera down. Okay. Putting this peat moss mixture in. I don't know how much of this worm cast that we're supposed to use, but I'm just gonna grab out a handful of it when I get ready to make the hole. Look like dirt. Okay, got that. I'm gonna take some of this worm casting, put it over in there, make a little well. Sprinkle a little bit of this fertilizer in there. The roots growing out of this rosemary out the bottom. I'm gonna keep the tag in it. The roots is soaking wet.
And I don't know how big no rose bud bush get, but I'm gonna just keep it in my whole pot. For now. I'm going to put a little bit more of this fertilizer on the top. Pour it in. Then I'm going to water with this rain water. Without the planks. So I'm gonna take this. This is sitting over there on the ground. So I'm gonna take this over there. And next, I'm gonna do the mint. Bamboo sticks for the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. 
banner going dead, so. Okay, this is my Crooked Squash. My Zucchini. This is a Better Boy Hybrid Tomato. I don't know what that means. It's another tomato. And this is the German Queen. And it is a um, heirloom tomato. And this is my Roma and the leaves look horrible on this so I hope it makes it. It is a Juliet. It is a Roma grape hybrid tomato. So and these are all tomatoes are indeterminate so they're gonna grow really big. And that is my mosquito plant that's growing pretty good. And this is a jalapeno pepper and I put it in a little pot by itself. Made a huge mess, but I cleaned it up. These are the ones I planted the other week, and I just got a growth on a broccoli and then it died, so I think nothing's gonna grow on these. I don't know, maybe I put too much something in there. So I'm gonna give it a few more days and then I'm gonna reuse the dirt for something else. I split the plants up. So we're going to see if I can bring these back to life. They don't look like it. They look like they're going to die. But we'll see. And these are some green beans that I planted the other day. All three of those are green beans. And today I planted another eggplant. Because I don't think that other's going to grow over there. And these are... Let me pick them up and put them on the table. These are what I initially threw, and I'm gonna put them in the ground probably in the next four or five days. I don't think they're ready yet. They're starting to get their real leaf, like this one. The collard green has its real leaf, but I don't think these collards gonna actually grow because it ain't the right time of year. But <clears throat> I'm gonna try. My spinach, I only got one, and it's getting a real leaf down there. You can see. Um. All these are spinach, all these are collards. The collards did good as far as growing up in the house. And this is my muesli, which is a mix of mucilin, I keep saying muesli, mesclin, mesclin, which is lettuce or some kind of greens. It's just a mixture in a pack. But those are grown up good. This looks like lettuce. Those look like greens because they look like the collards. But I don't know for sure, but whatever it is, I eat it. And these are the romaine, and I only got one of those. Which this romaine looks like that. So I'm thinking that is romaine or some kind of lettuce because it looks just like that one back there. So these two are romaine, and then this one is cucumber. So I got two cucumber plants. It hasn't got the real bullet yet, but I see it's coming up. So they're not ready to be planted. Replanted. At the end of the day, I may be just make a shift thing because I'm crazy. But I put some more kale in here and some more spinach to start those off. So, and these are the dinosaur kale because I found out that I really, really love those. And today I planted some more basil. But then I start looking at the pack and seeing how long it takes stuff to germinate. So I'm rushing it. I have some in the house and another pot just like that. And I'm like, oh, it hasn't grown yet. But they take up to 20 days to germinate. So that's probably why. And here I just planted these um, probably about four or five days ago. But these all are dinosaur kale. So they take, I think, between eight and ten days to germinate. And then all these are spinach. So I got three spinach and four dinosaur kale. And then I got two more of each up there. So I have enough. And this is my garden sage that I showed earlier. My rosemary, which 
after a few hours they all look good the stage was looking a little wimpy but I think it's okay it just was shocked by being transplanted and then my mitt looks pretty good as well over here I guess I need to put the camera on I went looking in the screen but yeah the mint looks pretty good. It's a sweet mint. I don't know if you can see that sweet mint. So, got all that. So that is all that I've done today. And hopefully something grows. I think tomorrow, whenever, I gotta go get some more soil because I only have a little bit left and I had um, two bags of that planting soil from Costco and one bag one bag of that right there that is the potting soil so I've been mixing them together along with um, the peat moss and I bought some planter beds and I'm gonna put them in my yard right over there so once I get some more soil I'm gonna put some cardboard down on the bottom of it and just put the dirt there and then once my stuff grows up to what it where it needs to grow they're not a transplant them, but that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.